Honestly, highlighter is just my life. Hi there, it's Carrie, and today's video is going to be a highlighter comparison. Yes, guys, when I said I was back, I meant it. I'm back with videos. Woo! So, in today's video, I'm going to be comparing a $5 highlighter to a $40 highlighter. Ooh, my bank account just hurts just thinking about it, but I do anything I need to do for y'all because I want to show you what kind of deal you're getting when you go cheap and when you go broke. <laughs> Now, I am a high schooler. I don't have like a ton of money all the time. So when it comes to makeup, I buy the cheap stuff. I buy the drugstore stuff. I don't have time to buy the expensive stuff. I don't have the money for the expensive stuff. I'm gonna stop rambling. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that big thumbs up button. I hope you enjoyed this video. And without any further ado, let's get on with the video. So the two highlighters we're going to be comparing is the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette, which was $5 at Target, and the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. Yes, yes, it's Pearl because I'm the whitest thing you've ever seen, so I need the whitest highlighter you've ever seen. And this was around $40 to $50. I don't remember the exact price. The website said $40. Here are swatches. We have the white one, the pink one, the brown one, and the orange one. Honestly, pigment-wise, these are very nice. They are very, very chalky. Very, like, fallout chalky kind of texture. But pigment-wise, on the swatch, pretty darn nice. So, A+. plus. Okay, so the Becca swatches don't have that much pigment, but you can definitely see the glow. You can see it. You can definitely see that. And it's a little chalky actually. It's like, but not as bad as the e.l.f. one. So on pigment, this one is definitely doing the most. So Becca wins swatches. My opinion on swatches, the e.l.f. ones are a little too chalky. So Becca wins swatches. It also has more shimmer than just like a pigment. It's more like, these are acting more like an eyeshadow kind of pigment and this is acting more like a highlighter. So on that's on swatches. Okay, so next I need to do it on my cheek. So I have to take off my glow, but look how good it looked. I used Becca on my glow today, by the way, so. Okay, so I took off my highlighter. Put the, my hair behind my hair behind my ears. I have a mirror right here, so that's what I'm looking at. I'm gonna test on this side, I'm gonna test the e.l.f. one. And on this side, I'm gonna test the Becca one. I'm gonna use this powder brush because I kind of get like, it gets like a good glow. Oh, okay. That pigment. I need to tap some of that off. I don't need that much glue. Okay, let's do the elf highlighter on this side. Ooh, I'm kind of getting a good glow here. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's a very subtle glow. There is just pickup all over this palette now. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but that white stuff is all around. I can't. Okay, so there's a decent glow right there. Now let's do the Becca one on the other side. Not as much pickup. Let's do this side. Okay, Becca, thank you. Thank you for the glow. Thank you. I fully appreciate you. I love what you're doing in life. Thank you so much for being here for me. I love everything about you. Oh my god. Okay. I am terrible at putting on highlighters, so just ignore that. It glows more, okay? It just does. Mm, look at that glow right there. Yeah, that that's a glow. This is so honestly, this is what I would wear usually, like especially when I'm filming. But if you're just looking for something subtle and a little bit warmer colored, I would definitely go with the e.l.f. one. It doesn't look as bad on the cheek, but there is a lot of fallout on the palette, so beware of that. But Elf is doing pretty well, just Becca has that just, ooh, that glow. Okay, so I'll test the pink one. Oh my God, again, ooh, it's just a little too chalky. It's like too much pickup. Okay, I kind of like it. Oh my God, now I'm on my cupid bow. Okay. 
Okay, so the glow on the nose, I kind of like the pink. It's like a purpley pink, if you know what I mean. And I'm gonna test this with this brush on right here, see what it does. Try to con you could contour. Woo! I'm such a mess. Like I just put random things everywhere. I'm just like, yeah, this will work. This is makeup. Yay. I'm such a mess. See what the orange one looks like on the tip of my nose. Oh god. Not that. That that's not. Mm -hmm. that's not supposed to be. Oh my lord. I kind of like it. Okay. But guys, with just a brush stroke on the palette, I got this. I'm gonna have to give you a close up. Just one brush stroke on the palette and look at all of this I'm getting. This, this is not okay. I, that is some chalky-ish, that is not high quality. That's waste, that's waste right there. So I definitely don't like the fallout on this, but the glow on the white one and the pink one is actually pretty good. I honestly feel like it is very good. I feel like this one's sometimes a little too strong, so this is actually a really good option, especially for like that winter, like warmer look. So yeah, just the fallout, and the, and I can't get over it. It's messy, it's very, very messy. I'm, I'm not really okay with that. I'm not really a messy person. This, this is good for the money. You get four different colors, and they work, they give you a nice shimmer. You are paying for what you're gonna get. You're not gonna get that high quality like material like feel to it. It's gonna be chalky, it's gonna be have fallout, but for the price, this is definitely worth it. And if you're just starting out not knowing if you wanna do highlighter, you don't know if you wanna break the bank, I would get this, I highly recommend it. Just know that you're gonna make a mess and there's gonna be fallout, like that's, that's gonna be a thing. The Becca highlighter, you are paying for what you're getting. This is some high quality shimmer stuff. Like, it is really good. It's not messy. It's not fallouty. Like, and it it shines. It shines a lot. So, definitely getting what you're paying for on this one. I overall, I feel like this one's the better one, but this one's not bad. This one's perfectly fine. The Elf one, they made great stuff. They're cheap. They're well made. Just, you're gonna have some downsides and you're not gonna get exactly what you want. This one, you're guaranteed a good product. So just just know that when you're buying it. And comment down below which one you think is the better deal and I will read your opinions and see what y'all think. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I love you all so much. I would be so happy if you would subscribe. Also, turn on that bell so you get notified when all my new videos upload. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 20 likes. That would be fantastic. I know y'all can do it, so just do it. Also, make sure to look down in that description box because all my socials are down there, my business email, a bunch of cool links, a bunch of cool information. Just There's a lot of good stuff in that description box, so just scroll down. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe and like and subscribe. Bye!